Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big and win big every single week no matter which sport, which teams you are betting on. So for this week in Major League Baseball, we are two thirds of the way through the season and the pennant races are heating up, particularly the wild card races. We have several key matchups for you this weekend. So we're gonna get started and show you some predictions here and ways to predict. So the best way is to join here. You can join and you can access all these tools from the VIP club section. So here I'm at the VIP picks, Major League Baseball, the date August 9th. So we're gonna scroll down through here and scroll down through here to some of the games I want to take a look at this weekend. See, there's a, a full suite of schedule here, but these are not the games I want to look at. I have to scroll down a little bit further here to see a whole big list here. So here's one, the Los Angeles Angels versus the Boston Red Sox. So if you notice here, both teams are not playing well lately. Both of them have a dead status at the moment. You see the Angels have dropped their last five games. The Red Sox are coming off a win, but they have dropped five out of their last six. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator here, you can see the trend. Both teams are trending downward, as you can clearly see. Boston really going down quite uh, drastically here. They were at plus 16 just a few days ago. They're at plus 11. And the Angels went from plus 11 down to plus 8 over the last couple of days. Take a look at the totals predictor. If you're considering betting the over-under, well, let's see how the teams are trending. You can see here the red line. The Angels are playing in the games trending under. You see the Red Sox are playing in games trending well over. So you might think, okay, this is a wash. You know, one's trending over, one's trending under. Best not to bet the over-under. That was probably the, the safest bet, but if you want to go with a little bit of a gamble, you might want to bet Dover considering that Boston is playing in games well over the line, and that might be enough to carry the overall game into the over category. So let's take a look at some other things here that I like to look at to make the predictions. If you look at the volatility oscillator, you will see as far as stability goes, both teams are relatively stable and more stable as you see the lines are going upward. So what does that mean? That means that they are pretty well consistently winning and losing according to their favorite underdog status indicates. Boston is the overall better team. They are playing at home. I think they'll probably win the series. The best pitching matchup is Rick Porcello versus uh, Jaime Barria. Rick Porcello is, has the best uh, numbers on the pitcher profit oscillator. And um, so he is the best bet in that one. Andrew Kashner is also a good bet this weekend for the Red Sox. Go with the Red Sox to win the series two games to one. If you take a look at the next matchup, which is probably the best matchup of the whole weekend, it's an AL Central battle between the second place Indians and the first place Twins. You can see both teams are in the average range. Right now, the Indians average, the Twins average up. You see the Indians have won four out of their last six, although they're coming off a one nothing shutout against the Rangers. You see the Twins have won five out of the last six and four in a row. If you look at the power ranking indicator between the two teams, you can see both are very high and both are have been stable lately. So you see Minnesota here is at plus 25, Cleveland's at plus 23, a good indication that both teams are playing very well. Look here at the totals predictor if you're considering betting the over under. You can see here for Cleveland, they are currently playing in games trending over, the red line compared to the blue line. You go down here in Minnesota, they are also playing in games trending over. So the best bet here is to uh, bet the over and can probably some really nice high scoring games if you like a lot of offense. Um, if you take a look here at the volatility oscillator, how stable are the teams? Well, you can see both teams are also very stable at plus 26 for the Twins and plus 23 for the Indians. So that means to pay close attention to the favorite underdog status as generally how both of these two teams perform. Now we're going to take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator. I, did, I talked about it in the last matchup, but didn't show it to you. So I'm going to show it to you now. If we go to the pitcher profit oscillator, what you do is you can put the two teams in here. You see I have Cleveland and Minnesota, and I have the two starting pitchers. This is for Sunday's matchup, Zach Puisak against Jose Barrios. If you go down through here, you can see what kind of pitcher profit margin they have. Now you can see Puisak is a very is a small sample size. He has not pitched all that much, but you can see he is at plus 520. 
So he's in the green, which is what you want to see in the, on the picture profit oscillator. And you can see Barrios up and down. He was a little bit, well, he's always been the negative, actually, uh, except for way back. He was briefly into the positive back in, way back in 2016. But you can see right now, here's at minus 530. So he is not the best bet if you want to consider, strictly consider the pitchers. But overall, the Twins had the better team. And playing at home, they're very tough to beat. I think the Cleveland will put up a good fight. They will win one game, but that'll be it. Minnesota will take the series two games to one. Scroll down through here to a few more matchups. We got the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Los Angeles Dodgers. A nice NL West battle. Second place Diamondbacks, but they are 18 games behind the red hot uh, Los Angeles Dodgers for most of the season. Now, right now, they're average down, but for most of the season, they have been red hot. You can see that lately, they have won their last three and five out of their last six. So even though their stats is averaged down, they still have won uh, five out of their last six games. Arizona, on the other hand, has uh, been up and down. You can see that they have won some nice games here at 18 to 7 over Washington. But they came off a 7-3 loss to Philadelphia and are 3-3 three three over their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Dodgers are way up there among the best in the league at plus 27. Arizona is climbing from plus 6 as of August 3rd all the way up to plus 17. Let's take a look at some other things here. Let's take a look at the totals predictor. If you're considering the over-under, well, let's take a look. Arizona is playing in games trending over the line. The Dodgers are playing in games trending under the line. Most likely that cancels each other out. It's probably best to avoid the over-under in this series. How stable are the two teams? Well, you'd probably be not be surprised to see that the Dodgers are among the most stable team doing all the way up here at plus 36. They're very consistent. Uh, Arizona all the way down here at plus two. They're not very consistent. So that what this is going to mean is to think very highly and strongly about the favorite underdog status. The Dodgers are going to be the favorites in this weekend series, so that's a good indication to probably bet the Dodgers. If you're looking at the pitcher matchups, uh, neither Robbie Ray or Kenta Maeda are uh, profitable, both at minus 1,700 and more than minus 1,700, you know, below the line or, or in the red, I should say. So they are not good bets, and they are the matchups on Saturday. So probably best to completely avoid betting on that game strictly uh, by who's on the mound. Okay, you want to consider other, other factors for that game. The best bet overall this weekend is Alex Young on the mound for the Diamondbacks on Friday. He is at plus 364. But overall, the Dodgers will win this series, take them to take it two games to one, and increase their lead in the division. Scroll down through here. There are a couple more matchups I want to look at. We have Tampa Bay and Seattle now. So look at Tampa Bay. They are burning hot. There's still quite a few games behind the Yankees in the division, but they are making a run. They have won five out of their last six, although coming off a loss. Seattle is average. They have lost four out of their last six. Um, and three of those four were to the tough Houston Astros. Then I'll have to take a look at the power rankings indicator. You can see what's happening here. You can see that Seattle, after a downward trend, they're slightly back up. They're still only at plus six. Tampa Bay is at plus 26. They are clearly the uh, stronger team. If we want to consider the over-under, Tampa Bay is playing in games that are trending quite a bit on the overside. And Seattle is playing in games trending slightly under. You might want to go with the over because they are just slightly under, while Tampa Bay is quite a bit over. You might want to go over if you want to take a little bit of a gamble. The safe bet is to not uh, play the over-under at all in games in this series. If you look at the, the uh, pitching matchups, which I will talk about now, you can go to the pitcher profit oscillator like I did before and put in the two, you know, the, the pitching matchups, and you'll see the profit margins. I will just discuss it here. Um, Marco Gonzalez at plus 509. Wade LeBlanc at plus 513. They're two very solid bets for the Mariners in games this weekend. And Charlie Morton is the best bet for the Rays. Overall, even though Seattle is playing at home, Tampa Bay is clearly the better team, and you would expect them to win the series two games to one. Now, one more matchup that I'm going to take a look at here is the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Francisco Giants. The Phillies are battling uh, the Nationals. They're tied in the division in second place behind the Braves, and they are currently battling for a wild card position. 
They are at average down right now. And winners of three out of their last six. The Giants are ice cold down, having lost four out of their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that both teams have been on a downward trend. Phillies have a slight 15 to 13 edge in that category. If we want to take a look at betting the over-under, let's take a look at the totals predictor. You see the Phillies are playing in games trending over. After trending under for quite some time, they're now trending over. And you see here that the Giants are playing in games trending well under. You might want to avoid the over-under, or you might want to go with the under, considering that the Giants are playing in games much under the line. Let's take a look quickly here now at the uh, volatility oscillator. Let's look at the stability here between the two teams. The Phillies are the much more stable team at plus 24 compared to plus 8. So take a look at the over under, uh, over under, the favorite underdog status, excuse me, the favorite underdog status for the Phillies in this one. Even though they're playing on the road, the Phillies probably will be favorites in at least one of the three games, maybe two. Um, the best bet is Jake Arrieta on Sunday at plus 988 for the Phillies. The worst bet on the mound is Jeff Samarja on Saturday for the Giants at minus 3,762 in the pitcher profit oscillator. Go with the Phillies to win the series two games to one. So before we go here, just want to remind you to take a look here at the new app. Right here, it says, did you download our new app? This is something you should take a look at. It's a great new app for the iPhone or the iPad. You can read here about what it does here. You can access the VIP wall quicker with just one button. Set push notifications for experts and systems, et cetera, et cetera. You can read here, you can download the app with this link right here. So please remember to do so. And if you're not already a member, please join and you can have a lot of fun here. You can access this VIP section and you can increase your chances of winning by using all the tools that we have here. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching and we will see you next week for some more great Major League Baseball predictions.